welcome to Show Off Stand Out Online Visibility Series for Entrepreneurs. My name is Juliette Stapleton. I am known as the Queen of Visibility. And today my guest, oh my God, guys, I'm so excited. I can't, I'm beyond excited. I tell you why. I will tell you why. Because when I started my visibility journey, you know, nobody knew me, nothing. The first person that I saw doing live video and being an advocate for live video was Molly Mahoney. And Molly's here today. I am so excited. I can't believe it. Hi, Molly. How are you? Hi. I love it. This is going to be so much fun. I am just thrilled to be here with you. So thank you. <laughs> Me too. And guys, the story continues. This is so, it's so weird because, you know, you have this connection. So I saw Molly and, you know, I followed, I saw some videos she did for Be Live TV. You know, I was very excited. I was starting to do a video as well. And then kind of fast forward, you know, paths kind of went uh, separately, separate ways. And last year, I came across Molly again and I was like, oh my God, this is her. I remember her. You know, and we, and I started following Molly because her content is so fantastic. And we have very similar um, skill sets in terms of digitally. And I thought, I thought, I can't believe this. This is sent to me by the universe. This woman <laughs> is, she's just started earlier. You know, I have, I have like, you know, hope that I'm going to get there as well. And then I'm finding out that not only like, Molly is amazing, right? But not only that, she's so similar to me in other ways. We have the weirdest things in common. Like our birthdays are backwards. There were all, there was a That's period where it was like everything thing. we realized was like this opposite, like amazing, weird awesomeness of connecting. It was cool. <laughs> It's like we, we sometimes uh, like we laugh that we're twins. Uh, Molly, are you? I know that online we can come across as extroverts. Are you an extrovert or an introvert in real life? So you know, I actually think that I'm what was maybe what they call an extrovert, like an introverted extrovert or an extroverted introvert. I think I'm omnivert. There is a word for yeah, it. Just, omnivert. So here's the thing: like when I'm in a group. I definitely, like if I'm, if I'm with people in person, I definitely am like, ah, you know, I, I get, I love it when I'm there, but I also really need time alone to recharge. And I heard someone say something that if you need that alone time to recharge, that means, you know, it's, that's more of like an introverted, an introvert thing. So, um, I think sometimes people just expect that, like, because I, I do naturally have more energy than most humans. Um, and I can, I, I step into that space so easily and I do love it, but, um, it's real. Like my whole, my whole, I was going to say my whole life, definitely like since college, I've no, I've been aware of the fact that I need someone. Who, I am someone who needs that alone time to be able to fill back up again. I can't, I, I'm so glad that you said that because it's just made it official that we are twins because I'm exactly the same. I'm absolutely exactly the same. And the only time I'm quiet, if I don't know anybody, then I, I, I won't be taking my, like the first lead in the, in the group. I need to know people. But when I know oh, people, yeah. and, you know, I can shine yeah. and so well, then it explains how we can do music right? And yeah. And it, I, mean, it's, I do think it's a skill set as well. Like even networking, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good. Like with my dad's business, if he can't go to, he goes to a lot of like, um, council meetings and like, or like, uh, he works with municipalities. So he goes to a lot of these meetings for, you know, important civ civic people, civ whatever important people in the local government. And I will go as his like ambassador sometimes. And I am definitely pretty good at like introducing myself and putting myself out there and, you know, meeting people for the first time. But, um, even in a crowd where I do know people, it's like sometimes I have to just take a moment to go hide in the bathroom to like recharge and let people know and then come back. But I'm like this as well. This is why I really like doing, um, like being online and actually having that uh, privilege of, you know, after you talk to someone, you, you exchange the energy, you love each other, and then you just switch yeah. to and meeting and then you go into your own space. You just recharge. I totally. Think a new angle. Now, introverts, this is for you because you have the control. You don't have that inside the crowd or like real life environment. Yeah. Let me, let me bring back to, we are talking about, you know, performing. We're talking about all this stepping into the spotlight. You are such a huge ambassador for video. And this is basically how I've discovered you. And that's what you are. You have your confidence, um, uh, camera confidence course. And you, like, there's a lot of things that you talk about video. How, how did it happen with you and video? Yeah. So actually it's super weird that I didn't realize it sooner because, so I was a musical theater performer. I was a theater and dance major. I did stuff in New York and, you know, traveled on tour and I've done, I was on an episode of the Gilmore Girls. I, um, you know, I've done some TV stuff also. I will say my energy was always like a little too big for like true film TV because you have to be like small because the camera's right there. <laughs> but, but I've done a lot of that. And then 
when I started my online business, I was focused on teaching performers how to have a business because I had had a pretty successful career. And so I wanted to help other performers to be able to do the same, but it never dawned on me that I could teach people like in the beginning, it didn't dawn on me that I could teach other business owners how to do this thing that I was actually really, really good at. And like a total expert at, um, it took like years of convincing to, for me to recognize. And so I started, you know, I started doing these videos to promote my other business and in courses that I was in, like I was in a course of Pat Flynn's, the very first course he ever launched was cool. And I was doing videos in there and people were like, oh my gosh, you're amazing on video. Like your videos are awesome. And it took, it was like right in front of my face. And until Facebook Live came out and it was a brand new tool where I could kind of be an early adopter, I never thought of it until then. So I kind of dabbled with Periscope, barely even though. Um, I don't know. It was like the right, the right me at the right time where I was really ready to step into it. And then from the second that Facebook Live came out, I switched everything. And that's all I focus on now is helping people to be better on live video and use messenger bots to accelerate it. Oh yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> Two things that came up to me. First of all, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Gilmore Girls. I, this is a, like <laughs> Quirky fact I don't talk about, but I actually spent a few years, like, I think I watched the whole series three times, you know, because it was on daytime TV. Yeah. I, I will have to go and find out which episode so you were the, in, because, because this is now just blew my mind even more, this, these things that we were talking about, like the, all the synchronicities with me and Molly. It's the, but, it's the episode called They Shoot Gilmores, Don't They?, which is a weird title, but it, um, it's the swing dancing episode. So I am actually in the dance marathon. It's like a dance marathon episode. So I was a swing dancer, which is why I ended up doing it. So I'm like dancing. My, my dance partner has a blue plaid shirt on and I'm wearing a black and white dress oh my god I am going I remember the episode I remember but I will have to go now and just That's actually see you there which is amazing <laughs> but number two was the another thing that you said what you said is that what I see in many people and myself as well is we are the last ones to see our gifts mm. we are the last ones to admit that we are absolutely brilliant at something yeah and, and then the last ones to want to charge for it also. <laughs> and, and I will say it still comes up for me now. Like I was submitting something. I got, I'm speaking at this really amazing, huge conference later next year. And I had to submit my topics and all of my topics were like about sales conversions and like videos into sales and whatever. Cause they wanted me to talk about video and they wrote back and they were like, actually, what we really want you to talk about is how to get prepared to show up on video. And I was like, hmm, it's funny. You may think that my business is called like the prepared performer. <laughs> Well, that, that's true as well. That is funny though, because, you know, and, and I see, cause I follow you for a while, you know, and you, 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 you were about confidence when I met you and, and recently it was a lot about organic retargeting and follow up, which is actually where the money is, you know, and yeah. actually, this is actually, there is a question. This is what I wanted to ask you. Okay. Uh, when, so when guys, when we're talking about organic retargeting, we're talking about basically reaching out to people mm -hmm. right? and, yeah. and so it's really it's them, follow up. Yeah. And yeah, it's so reaching out, so it's like cold reach out and follow up, basically. But the reason we called it organic retargeting is because we were at our event, Glam Live. Glam stands for Go Live and Monetize. Glam Live, our first one was last year. We have another one coming up this year um, in Anaheim. When we were at that event, I was talking about um, follow up and cre using friends lists to follow up and like being very strategic about it. And there's so many cool ways you can use Facebook and tools, you can like extensions and stuff you can do. And I explained it. I was like, you know, it's just like with a retargeting ad. When someone goes to a website, you can retarget them and it sends them those ads that follow them around. The problem is when people connect with you on your personal page, like if they like a post, you can't set up a retargeting ad. But I was like, you can do it organically without paying for it like yourself. So if someone likes a post or comments, pretend that you are that retargeting ad and follow them around. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually not weird at all. And in fact, the way we, we are talking like as if we know each other so so well. You know how how our friendship happened? I joined Molly's group and Molly sent me a private message. And she said, hey, you know, love to see, lo, lo, love what I see on your profile, something along those lines. And I said, ah, sister, I see what you're doing. You're connected Wait, do you to the question I asked you? You're following up. This is very smart. <laughs> but the thing is that Molly didn't ask me for anything in that text. It wasn't, it wasn't salesy. It wasn't, you know, trying to get me to buy something. And it was just authentic. We had a little chat and that's it. And do you remember the question that I asked you? Cause this is like a ninja tip that I use and you were, you were like, Oh my gosh, what an amazing question. Yeah, yeah, so do you remember yeah. what the question was? Yeah. Is there anything you want me to give you some social media love? 
Oh, yep. So I said, and I don't do it for everybody because otherwise I'd be in trouble. But if there are people that I genuinely think look like they're putting out magic that is awesome that I would love to share into the world, that is the best way to start that conversation, I think, because then you're giving, that right? And everybody so wants true. a little love. Yeah, yeah. But, but I have to say, I, somebody else sent me a message with exactly the same sentence and I just knew Molly, I knew it straight away. So, Guys, always don't, don't just take something that you like, try and personalize it, you know, just. Amen. So wait, let's talk about that for a second because we talk about this, Hey girl, Hey message. Do you know what that is? <laughs> it's like, it's a marketing one, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a, it's a crafted message that got really popular in the network marketing space or in the direct sales space that, um, that is like, Hey girl, Hey, call me crazy, but I'm confident that you would kill it at this business. Right. And like people were using the Hey girl, Hey, and the three C's. So you'd end up getting this Hey girl, Hey message from the same exact copied message from five different people. And then it spoils it and it's creepy right? It is. And I know the intention isn't creepy, but it makes it creepy. So when, that's why I use really weird words, like in my video, and I'm, I, you're, I know you're great at this as well, but in my videos, if, if people are going to comment and enter to win a giveaway, we use the hashtag nugget. And if other people start using nugget, it makes it not as special because it waters it down. So you, you want to use your own words. I say, um, instead of sharing the videos, I say, sprinkle these videos amongst your people. Don't say sprinkle, come up with your own word. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's, it's so funny so because different. it's difficult. You know, I remember I was doing a, a training and then I wanted to say something like comment something to get, you know, if you're getting value and all I could think of was nugget. And I said, <laughs> I am not going to say nugget because it's just, it's Molly's word. And I am always like, if I'm watching, if I get a chance to watch Molly's video, I'd be there, you know, I'd I'm, I'm like crazy. I turn into like a keyboard <laughs> addict. <laughs> I, I comment all the time and it would be so weird for me to also say nugget, but there's other ways. Be creative. Well, and it's not going to establish your own brand. Like, and, and I mean, I'm somebody too, like I love celebrating you. I am so about collaboration, even though we're in similar spaces. Like I, ha you know, Juliet sent me the most amazing testimonial video, which now I share places too. And then it tells the world that she's a visibility expert. Like, so it's, you know, it, it's, um, I'm all There's about always, that. There is always like the people, uh, you people share and, and give testimonials and tag people because, you know, your visibility grows as well. It always comes back to you. Don't operate from that lack uh, mindset, yeah. you know, and, and, and it's true, you know, it, it's, <laughs> it is a funny thing about, you know, collaboration comes in different ways. And for me, for, for me, Molly is such an inspiration because I, I see somebody who's similar to me and doing so well that gives, that always gave me a hope. <laughs> and now I, you know, I build my brand and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. But I had to have someone like Molly and Molly particularly, particularly <laughs> to, you know, to kind of aspire to. You have to surround mm. yourself with people who, who have done the path. Yeah. Now my next, <laughs> and, and of course, we're talking about video here a little bit. I need to ask you this question because a lot of people okay. are saying to me, you know, video is so scary. And, you know, we both have like video challenges. They're completely different, but we, we both kind of encourage yeah. people to be more confident. But they feel like it's so scary and it holds them back what are the best confident boosters would you like just mm -hmm. to give like a little nugget here? Yeah. So the first thing is the most important one is I'm going to give you two today. So the first one is you, if you hold your hands like this, do it with me. So you're holding hands like this. I know if you're listening to this on a podcast where you can't see the video, or if you're like, have us, whatever, you're just listening. We're holding our hands in front of our face, like in a little ball. And inside this ball, you're going to put all that you offer in your business. So all the visibility strategies, whatever it is, all of it. Okay. You're holding it right here. And then you're going to throw it into the air. And now your business is now floating around the sky, like Mikey TV in Willy Wonka. And what are you left with? Great energy. Amazing energy. <laughs> Great energy. I love this. And I, as an empath, I feel the energy. In my yeah, mind. you can act. And like the whoosh feeling. Yeah. But a lot of people will say that they're left with nothing because they forget that the most important piece is you as a human being. And so you've got to really tap into who you are as a human before you're able to do anything on video because things are going to go wrong. And if you aren't tapped into who you are as a human, your like gremlins are going to come out. No matter I'm what. I'm so glad you said that I, because it, it just, it's sort of in tune with what I say that empowering yourself to do video and to show up, it's such an empowering journey. You are actually becoming much more kind to yourself. You accept yourself and then everything starts flowing. Everything yeah. We were just talking about this in a video today and I'm sure you agree that I think, you know, now that I've been doing live videos, like at least once a week for three years, which is bananas. Um, I have, every time I do a video, I think I become a better version of myself because I'm not trying to be somebody else, but I'm really 
aiming to bring my best self to the video. And so it's like forcing me to remember who I want to be. <laughs> and that as well shows, because I, I love your videos and I know a lot of people say the same thing to me because when you're watching someone who is absolutely real, absolutely mm. real, there is no, okay, we, I might have very bright light on my video and you know, I kind of like to look ex, extra polished sometimes. Which I that's love. Just, that's, part of my, <laughs> that's part of my brand, right? Yeah, I just awesome. like this. I love transformation. But uh, in general, I'm not trying to be, who I'm not, I'm still the same yeah. that, that is there, you know, and I love Molly for that as well, because, you know, when you are say, say, saying you need to create your brand, that doesn't mean you need to change. That doesn't yeah, mean. Yeah, right. No, you want to pull. That's why I love to say it's, it's that you're unlocking your own inner awesome and elevating it. So it's like pulling the best version of you into the screen. And then the second tip from that would be, who are you speaking to and have one singular person like Mr. Rogers does. He doesn't say, hey, everybody, welcome to my neighborhood. He's like, hey, you, it's great to be here with you today, right? And right before you go live, pick that one person and put them right behind your camera and speak to that person like actually from your heart. That is a, that is a great, and it's very difficult to do in the beginning. Yeah. I think that, and I've struggled with this as well, you know, because you're almost, it's, I think it comes from people pleasing because mm. you think that you have this big audience and you don't want to, you kind of want to embrace everyone. Then you're worried about how you perceived, you know, you know, do you show up the way you should be showing up? It's all this yeah. and, you know, um, trying to comply with something, but it's not really important. People are actually following you for purely for who you are. Yeah. And, and the more that you can connect with a singular person, the more you'll be able to connect with a lot of people. That is, that is absolutely true. That it's is kind of counterintuitive, true. but super true. I love that because in your, in your, when you do your big trainings, you know, on your business page, so you have loads of, loads of views and hundreds of comments it's and so everything, fun. but it still actually feels like you are connecting to a person and then yeah. to, like to me personally. And then what you do is of course you, you drop names, you go through your comments and you, yeah. you call people, people's names and it's very flattering guys. <laughs> so I try to be specific because I know sometimes I could like get sidetracked and just end up talking to everybody the whole time. So I try to be specific. Like I love that I use be live because, um, you can actually have an agenda that you plan ahead of time, which keeps you on track. So I can have this agenda and then I can take moments to come and talk to the community here and highlight people and bring their comments up on the screen, which is really cool. And then come back to, you know, come back to being here with the, the, the content that I plan so that I'm not a complete squirrel all over the place. What is your, I'm going to ask you this. Do, what, what are your mess when, it, when you mess up, like how would it look like if you messed up on? The oh my gosh. <laughs> like every day. Um, yeah, so I, I've <laughs> seen a couple like an ad, but I'm just going <laughs> to. Okay. So the worst one, and I don't know if we've talked about this one before, but the worst one, and it's in camera confidence still inside our course. So this happened. I was teaching how to change your thumbnail on a Facebook live and I had gotten this brand new, I was still doing videos on my phone at that point. So B.Live wasn't around, but, um, I got this new selfie stick that was white with gold polka dots and it was so cute. And not that anyone can see your selfie stick, but it made me happy. And I was like, Oh, I'm going to use this selfie stick. So I'm hold, but it wasn't like a tripod. It was a selfie stick. So I'm an idiot holding the selfie stick like this with my phone like this on it, doing my Facebook live. Right. I was all dressed up, ready to go to an event, luckily. So I, I like like things from the fifties. So I had a little fifties skirt on with crinoline underneath it. Very important for what happened. I'm doing this video. I'm talking. I'm like very serious about how to change your thumbnails. The phone fell out of my selfie stick. <laughs> it landed shooting up my skirt on Facebook Live. Like nothing. I am like from that moment on, I knew if anyone was worried about something that could happen on video, I'd already done it and I've been through it and you're going to be okay. <laughs> Oh my God, so that like, reminds me when I was in abandoned school and I fell through the hole in the stage. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's horrible. <laughs> I just fell into the hole and I, I climbed out of it and nobody seemed to notice. It was a solo, a guitar solo moment when I just, that is just crazy. happened when I was 13. This is so funny. But I, I so luckily, it wasn't that inappropriate. Like you couldn't actually see things because I had this crinoline on. So it was just like shadows. But when I looked down, all I saw was a Facebook live staring back up at me, like in between my legs. I, and I have a super G-rated brand. So I was like, oh my God, like ugh, all disaster. But I went through it to tell the day. I'm so 
still here. It's so funny. I, I actually, I actually don't remember. I do remember the shadows. So I, I was, while you were, you were saying about this, you know, I remembered that video, but I was like, I don't remember anything. Well, so, and I, what I ended up doing is I re-recorded it and it's like hidden somewhere else in the thing. Oh. So you'd have to like really search to find it. It's not the, one of the main videos, but. Oh, thank God oh. for that. <laughs> you know what the funniest thing and this is like if molly does that and that can happen to her then it can happen to anyone and it's okay is sharing always screen. wear your chonies is what i say <laughs> just kidding oh, yeah. you, i love it when you share the screen but you, you think yeah. you shared the screen and you show everybody things while we're looking at your wonderful face Okay, so this happens like at least once a month where I think I'm sharing, because I go back and forth between my face and the screen and I think I'm screen sharing and I'm like, okay, like it's literally just my face and I'm like, great, so when you click on this thing, oh my gosh, can you see that? It's like magic, that all these things and everybody's like, you're not screen sharing, you're not, but there's, you know, the 10 or 15 second delay, so it's like, uh, well, yeah, but, bottom line is like you have to really, really take everything with a pinch of salt and it's yeah. fine because, you know, so what? This happened, you know, and then we, we, we tell Molly, Molly yeah. shares, shares screen, everything totally. is fine, everybody's happy and loads of nuggets in the comments. And, you, know, you know, like actually I find that when things like that happen that it's actually better. So one time I was doing a masterclass and I accidentally hit the little, I'm going to turn my screen, I hit this little guy and it unplugged my microphone during my offer. So I was in the middle of the offer and I went completely silent and I wasn't looking at the chat because I was so focused on the offer and everyone is like, Molly, you're uh, uh, like whatever, freaking out. So I'm getting all these extra comments. Kelly finally called me and was like, dude, your mic is unplugged. So then I'm like, you can, and you can see me go like, uh, and I like freak out because the mic is unplugged, which is also really funny, but it was our highest converting webinar ever. This is why. This is why I actually, <laughs> I had a similar experience where I, I was naming the price of the offer and then started getting dyslexic between nine and seven. And there was a lot of nines and sevens and, and I, I completely couldn't even pronounce it. I cut it out actually, put it on Facebook because it was a funny thing, you know, it's like subliminally she doesn't like selling. <laughs> <laughs> totally, that's exactly what it is. It's the places where like we, that the, the stakes are the highest when we end up doing things like that. So that's why I think it's good to put ourselves in those high stakes situations as often as possible so we can get back on track because it's gonna happen it's true and it, and it's yeah. and it's okay because this is what you said it's it was the highest conversion uh, converting uh, webinar because people saw you as the real person who yeah. also has things that can happen and life can interfere and this is the most important thing i think that this is the message embrace yourself totally we, whatever we it's, this is real life that's why life video is called life video because it's real it's like real life yeah <laughs> completely seriously oh my god Hello? yes so i heard that you were you were just mentioning that you're speaking on these big events or anything what's happening what's next well so the next uh, next is actually in austin um in september i don't know when this is airing so in September, but September. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know. Perfect. So in September, I'm going to be speaking at the many chat conference in it's the conversations conference in Austin that same week. I'm also speaking at the eWomen network in Austin, which is going to be cool. I'm actually speaking about Instagram, which is fun and not as normal, but I, I love my some Instagram. So that'll be fun. And then at many chat, I'm speaking about how to use Facebook live and messenger bots to attract a flood of leads who will throw credit cards at your face. And then Straight from there, I'm driving, I'm flying to San Diego to, to be an icon at the New Media Summit, which is a podcasting event, which is so cool. So that is um, an absolutely amazing. Yeah. That's like cherry on top. I absolutely love I it. I do not know how you do it with two kids and, you know, with, <sighs> with everything that's happening within your life. This is amazing. But if you can do it, that's me, that means it's possible. Yeah. And I will say, like, I've never felt more balanced now than I do now. And the biggest thing is to say no. <laughs> So it's like knowing when you can say it, and it's hard. It's been the biggest struggle. I think for me actually is wanting to like, I love more than I don't and wanting to say yes to more and more things and worried I'm going to let people down. But you know, we've got our priorities really dialed in on, we have two programs that we offer now. We've, we canceled out one of our programs, which, um, I don't even know if you know this. No, I don't know, know anything. You don't. So you can't, we canceled the mall stars because it was, um, it just was like, we had too much content going out and it was like not people were consuming content and not actually moving into action. So we canceled our lowest level program. Some, that is the problem with some low cost subscriptions. I find that there's a lot of yeah. consumption and not really actually implementing. And so, and, and some on, people in our, in our highest level program were like, I can't keep up with all the content. So, um, in order to honor us, honor our glam program and really put our focus there, we are, we canceled our mall stars this month. 
that's another nugget. Focus on what brings more results. Yeah, totally. And it was at this point, it was going to be by canceling it. It was an $18,000 loss. And I felt awesome about it because in those, like, that's what we had set up on recurring payments for the rest of the year. And I just, I just, it was, it was worth losing the $18,000 to really focus on what's important. So it's really true. I love it. That's another nugget here, just right here. Don't be afraid. Don't, don't operate from uh, the point of lag that you're going to lose the revenue, lose money or anything. Sometimes it's better to create the void for something new to come in yeah. or something better to come in. Yeah. Guys, I know that Molly has a hard finish here, just in, just like, like now. So Molly, <laughs> for our audience to follow you and, you know, just be as excited as I am about you. Yeah, <laughs> there's you go. Not live. So it's a video. It's a Facebook video. That link will take you right to a Facebook video that will help you to create videos that convert uh, more engaging content and really, you know, I, I love to say that we, we need visibility, but visibility isn't enough. You've got to actually have sales coming in at some point too. So this video, when you go to molly.live, will help you to do that. And then you can Molly. learn all about live, guys. Molly. live, guys. Molly.live. That's absolutely brilliant. We're going to go there. Molly, thank you so much for being my lovely guest. Thank you. Today, I, I, I can't believe that it was only half an hour and it was so fast. And I hope I, I, will, I will connect with you again. <laughs> guys, I will see you next week on another episode of Show Up, Send Out. Stay cool. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.